Come ne siamo organizzati? Siamo quasi, quasi pronti. Anzi, siamo in stanza. Okay. Yeah, stay like that. <laughs> it's a good place. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a good yeah. place. It's like more ancient, like uh, yeah. I can see lots of old books. Uh, maybe we can start uh, from you, an identikit of you. I am Srin Chunzo from Tibet yes. and uh, people who are helping me told me like maybe you have an opportunity in Siena University. Mm -hmm. So it was so interesting and I went to Google and all you this never stuff. Heard about I before. have never heard of it. But I think book cannot be judged by a cover so <laughs> Passport is issued by India okay. and I born in Tibet and citizenship is China. So okay. it's very complicated. Very Some of people don't way. yeah. And when I graduated to my high school, I was thinking like which university I have to go if I need to choose university in India or what should I do? In that moment I met a president of one association from Italy and who helped Tibet people, especially for students, for education, all this stuff. So they select some students for culture exchange program and for the first time in 2016, as soon as I finished my board exam. And then I got an opportunity to come to Brescia in Italy first time. What do you study here? Here I'm doing economics at Bangi. And I love this course actually, because in India also I choose some courses in high school which is related to more commercial, like economics. So it's, I have some background and also it's more or less interesting. And uh, everything is in English, so we have many classmates from different kind of countries, you know. You said to me that you don't live in the city centre, right? No, I don't live here. I'm living in Monte Chiaro with one Italian family with some Tibet people. And they are so kind, honestly. So, it's so good. Some of friends said, ah, it's high hill and all this, but for me, I don't have complaint about the city. I really love it. Uh, when I first went to Duomo, the structure of the Duomo is so, so good. I could say most of the population in Siena is student and tourist. Like, uh, one time I came here after, uh, during the holiday, Siena is like empty. When schools start, it's a pool of students. So different countries and where we can interact with each other. All the department in our classmen, I can say, most of them from different countries where they don't speak any Italian. But for me, it's not a problem. I just need to go to some coffee bar, I just need to go to some shopping, and I can understand, I can survive. Is there something that you found really challenging and that actually changed your, your way to, to, to live, your way to... Challenge that I faced and that changed my way of thinking to life, all this stuff, I can say the education system. When I came here, I even didn't bring my laptop. Everybody is like giving, okay, you go through this website and you go through this Facebook page. And then I started thinking like, okay, it's a more advanced, more developed country. That's why like education system, the way proceeding exam, everything is totally different from before. When first I used calculator like, like this, and I see that other students doing without seeing the, in the calculator. So that's the difference. Like Luckily this. you found some, some guys who can help you maybe. It's so hard. But the first week, International Office provides some phone numbers of students who can guide us and they really always be kind and polite to give this and that. But if I need to do everything for myself, almost impossible, I guess. I really got interested in Italy. It's automatically, I think, it's deeply connected with Siena now for, because being here for three years, built inside of me something like, seeing Siena, it's like, oh, I got back to home. If you want to take a break, you can go to Cambo to see it. For me, it's very, you know, peaceful. What do you think you will be in 10 years? First, I prefer to stay here. I would like to work in some companies related to management. Yes, I think I can learn Italian within the 10 years, for sure. <laughs> Thank you.